What is up guys, it's your boy Shadow Public coming at you with another incredible video. So today we're basically going to be talking about overlays. And to get a little more into it, more specific, we're going to be talking about controller overlays. So I know since the pandemic hit, uh, there's not really too much to do. So I was watching a lot of streams and a lot of the streams I saw kind of this layout right here where it was a controller and when the streamer would hit a button, it would showcase on the stream and I thought I was like oh dude that's really badass like I, I want to mimic that but the thing that sucked was that a lot of those streamers they were playing on their actual PC so a lot of the videos were just like plug your Xbox controller into your PC and boom that's it and then I was like okay but what about us console gamers what about the Xbox gamer I don't play on PC I play on Xbox and I just love playing on the Xbox. What about us? So I kind of, I took it upon myself to do the handiwork for you guys. So I figured out how to have a stream overlay for your controller or any other video. You know, if you want to make a video on OBS, uh, you could do it that way as well. But I kind of figured it out for you guys. So the first and easiest method is to buy a wireless controller and just attach it up to your PC. Just sync it up. It's Bluetooth enabled, connect it to your PC, and boom, you're done on that aspect. But let's say you have your own custom controller, and you have trigger stops, you have like paddle guards, stuff like that. You have your own custom customized controller, or let's say you just don't want to play wirelessly. You want to play wired with like as little input lag as possible. So the next thing to do is to buy this little item right here the Microsoft Xbox one wireless adapter for Windows you could buy that plug it into your PC and the next thing you want to do is I know I told you that it's gonna be a wired input so the next thing you want to do is just like have your normal controller and get a cube as long as it's 5 volts and higher it will power the Xbox one controller now here's where you might be like <laughs> are you crazy but I really did try everything for you guys so I, I did exactly what this dude did. I just plugged it into an outlet. I plugged it right in the USB into the slot. And then the weird thing that happened is that it tricked the adapter into thinking my controller was wireless. And I, it was able to be adapted into my PC while still hardwired, which was a little bit faster than having it full wireless. The other thing you could do, and it's the thing that I did, is I have a Collective Minds um, Strike Pack. So I have it for the back pedals, for the back paddles, because I love it. It's really easy to use, and like as a gamer, I don't see myself playing without it. I bought two of them. I bought one for my home console, and then I bought one for my away console, which is just like it's really great if you've never tried this I highly recommend trying it it's only like $34 if you wanna get the upgraded version I would get the one that has four paddles I know it's somewhere here but I digress uh, you could do that one so all of these if we look at this one just connect it to your PC Bluetooth if we're looking at this you could connect the Bluetooth like that you could plug it into your you connect it Bluetooth and then you plug this into an outlet and you plug it in it doesn't have to be the same power source either I did exactly what this dude did I had a spare one that didn't have anything it wasn't connected to my PC it wasn't the power source that I had running to my Xbox nothing it was just its own separate power source and it worked perfectly or you could take this mine and you could plug it directly into your PC so once you do that then it becomes a little it should recognize it right away instantly but here's where it becomes a little tricky so my controller is recognized right away and the way we could tell is oh if you hit the middle button on your controller there should be little menus and it's it's not moving my menus which is weird but I have my menus on my other screen which basically show like I really wish y'all could see it because it shows like everything it shows my Xbox social it shows what's open 
what sound is open, my performance on my controller, and it's like, it's really great. There we go. Oh, you can't see that. that that's disappointing. But here's like little capture buttons. But trust me, as soon as you do it on your controller, you should see like one, two, three, four, five, five little widgets that pop up. And that's a good sign. That means it recognized your controller right away. So what you want to do to connect it is you want to go into your Xbox app and it's the old companion app. So the old Xbox companion app, the new one doesn't really work because it doesn't allow you to stream your, to your console. And that's what we need to do. We need to connect our console and we need to stream to it. So once you stream to it, this is the great thing, which, okay, hold on. There's like a little workaround that they did. And I love it. So if we do, ah, oh, come on. There we, oh no, there we go. Boom. So now we have our Xbox right there. And you could see, I'm moving my controller. Let me just open up this right here. So I'll keep this one open and I'll open up here. Oh, we have to, every time you click out of the Xbox app to do something on your PC, you have to click back into it. So I clicked into it and let's push this up. Let's do that. Mute the companion app and then bring the companion app back. So here, you could use your Xbox and the paddles right here. So that works. My game and apps, it works perfectly with your paddles included. So that's a very huge plus. That's the biggest thing I was looking for. So you're gonna have to do that every time. That's the only downside. But the great thing about it is you don't have to have your PC nearby. You could have your PC in the other room. You could have it wherever you want. As long as it's in the same network, it's going to work. So let's go ahead and do that and do this right here. So now you may be wondering, how do I set this up? What do I do? I, I'm lost. Teach me. Teach me your ways. And you're in luck because I am. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to a website called gamepad viewer so it's going to tell you there's no console connected all you have to do is move it and then it says you're currently viewing none so you could put player one and now when you move your controller it shows your input which is great that's exactly what we want and how we're going to keep that is we're going to hit this little button we're going to go i don't know why it's so zoomed in there we go we're gonna go to generate URL and it's gonna give you your own custom URL you're able to choose your Xbox skin Xbox one which will be the black one Xbox one white and choose the controller you want it shows you your strength meter I basically left all this the same because I don't really know too much about it and once you're done just go ahead and copy that URL and we could go back into wherever you stream so all you do after that is you click add a source, browser source, add source, whatever you want to name it. So let's just name it controller, add source, and then just copy and paste yours right in there, okay? It's going to give you a little disconnected, which is okay. That's perfectly fine. That means that like it at least read that. So once it does that, just go ahead and move your controller and boom, your controller is set. You have all the input, which is great. And it works real time, as you can see that. And it works with the back paddles too, which is great. And that's what I really use to stream. I use it to stream. I use it to record videos and it's really great. But the thing is you have to have this Xbox companion app. And what I really like about it is before they had it to where like you couldn't minimize it. But all you have to do is like scroll up and then it'll give you a little minimize button and that's it. So here's the weird thing about this. 
if you're using a controller like I am, when you launch up your Xbox companion app, it's going to say the controller isn't detected. So what you're going to want to do is, I don't know if you won't be able to see that, but where the USB plugs in, that's where you're going to want to, you're going to want to disconnect that. See how the controller went disconnected and then plug it back in. You're always going to want to disconnect it from there and it shows okay you never at least on the collective mind ones you never want to disconnect it from this port because if you do that well you can disconnect it from this one you just can't disconnect it from this this little one right here and I'll go ahead and show y'all what I mean go focus in and let's make this a little brighter there we go you never want to disconnect it from this tiny one right here you could disconnect it from this one but I would just avoid that in general and I would just disconnect it from the actual USB it's the simplest way that's what I've been doing you have to do it every time which is a little bit annoying but it's the price we pay to be a for us to be able to play our games like that which I don't think it's too bad but I really guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'm always trying to find new ways to kind of <clears throat> do stuff that's impossible, do stuff that people didn't think they could do. And if you guys have like any any questions or comments or have like, will this work, will that work? Now, I don't know too much about the PlayStation. I heard that the PlayStation does have like a streaming app where you could stream your PlayStation to like a PC or stuff like that. So it might work like that. I would definitely give it a shot. I don't own a PlayStation to be able to try that out. But yeah, I really guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. If it helped you out, leave a like. If you want to follow the channel, links down in the description. Links down in the description below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a, le a wonderful day. Let's go. Oh, oh, wrong button. I'm used to streaming, my bad.